Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today's topic, customary units of length. So, you know the drill. Get out your composition book, pencil, paper, pen. Let's take some notes. Okay, so, um, units of length, customary units of length. So you know length is to measure from one point to another point. Okay, we can move on that. Yeah, um, so anyway, the United States has a few units of length that we use. For example, an inch, a foot, a yard, a mile. Yeah, units of length. They measure from point A to point B. And I think most of you guys know the equivalency of these units of length. Most of them. For example, you probably know there's 12 inches in a foot and there's three feet in a yard, and there's 36 inches in a yard. You might not have remembered this, but there's 5,280 feet in a mile, which means there's 1,760 yards in a mile. So write that down, write all this information down, okay? Uh, we just got to make sure we know this. We got to know how many the equivalent units for these units of length. All right. And let's move on. So what you're going to be asked to do in this unit uh, with customary units, this unit of customary units, um, is one, converting a unit from one unit to another unit. So like changing eight feet to yards or changing eight miles to inches well maybe not quite to inches but to feet okay um now most of us already know what to do in these particular problems when you look at this problem if i say eight miles equals how many feet most of us know that i should be taking 5280 and multiplying by eight i know that most of us know what to do whether to multiply or divide like here if i was taking 66 inches that i would divide that by 12 to find out how many feet most of us know that. But let's just say you're that one student that doesn't know that. Well, let me show you a little trick that will help you remember or help you figure out, do you multiply or do you divide? Okay, so the way to do that, if you're totally unclear about should I multiply here or should I divide here? Which one do I do? All you have to do is this little step, okay? Number one, write down the units underneath each other. Okay. Mile under mile, feet under feet. Inch under inch, feet under feet. Okay. Then make the statement true. What do you mean by that? Well, I know, if I look at this, there are, there's one mile and 5,280 feet. So I make that statement true. I write one mile, equals 5,280 feet. Got it, okay? Over here, I make the statement true. So I look down here, inches, there's 12 inches and one foot. So I write 12 inches and one foot. Okay, got it. Now here's what you look at then. You ignore the one, ignore the one, ignore the one. If it goes this way, guess what you do? Multiply. And if it goes this way, guess what you do? Divide. That's how you know. Okay? Now, again, if you, if you already know whether I should multiply or divide, don't waste your time on this. Don't. Just do it. But if you're that student that's like, I don't really know. Should I multiply or should I divide? Then write the unit under the unit. So what, I did, what did I do again? I wrote inches under inch, feet under feet. I made the statement true, 12 to 1. And then if it's the number over number, divide. If it's cross, multiply. We got it? Well, then let's go. Let's try, try a problem or two. So press pause and solve these three problems. Press pause and solve these three problems. Okie dokie. All right. And we'll go over this tomorrow. Okay. So, and then the other thing I just want to talk about is this. Adding and subtracting units. Okay. So I want you to look at this problem number one. I often will ask students to add these units. And so I will see this. I'll see them 
write down, oops, I already wrote it incorrectly. You should have two yards, one foot, eight inch. And then I'll see them write two feet, nine inch, okay? And then here's what I will see them do, and this is a mistake, okay? I will see them say, all right, this is 17, and then I carry my one, and then they'll say, this is four feet, and then I'll say two yards. But they made a mistake. Do you know what it is? Look at that. Did you figure it out? The mistake is they are saying this is a base 10 because they said they're carrying one. They're saying 17 inches really equals one foot seven inches. Do you see that? They're saying 17 inches is really equal in one foot seven inch because they carried that foot over here and you see how they have the seven left over? But 17 inches doesn't equal one foot and seven inches. 17 inches really equals one foot and five. See, the customary units that the United States uses is not a base 10 system. So you don't, like, you don't borrow one and add 10. You don't carry one over and assume it's base 10. So here, how they should have done this problem is yes, you can carry one over, but what you have to understand is 17 inches is one foot five inch, so they should have written five inches here, okay? And then the other thing it says in this assignment is simplify. So what does that mean? Well, here, yes, I do have four feet, I do, okay? But let's, if we can take out a larger unit, let's do that, that means, and that would mean simplifying. So I have four feet, which means I, have one yard three feet right here. Right here is really one yard three feet. So let's just change this to three yards, one foot, five inches. Does that make sense? Questions? Okay, so let's just look at this one. So here I'm gonna, again, let's line up our units correctly. I have three yards, I have nine inches. I'm gonna put my two feet right here because I don't have really any feet here. Do you see that? And then 10 inches. Okay, I'm gonna subtract. Again, we have, we don't have any feet, okay? So we gotta borrow, I gotta borrow. I can't take 10 inches from nine inches, so I'm gonna borrow here two yards. Now, I can write there, now again, you gotta be careful, you're not borrowing one adding 10 because it's not a base 10 system. I'm gonna borrow a yard and add three because there's three feet in the yard. And now let's borrow a foot and add Again, I'm borrowing one foot. How many inches are in a foot? 12. Add the 12 to the nine, and that gives you 21 inches. Sorry, my handwriting is absolutely terrible right now. Boy, that is just atrocious. So we have 21 inches. And now just subtract, 21 minus 10, well, that's 11 inches. Two feet minus two feet, okay, that's zero feet, and then two yards, okay? Questions? Questions? No. You sure? Okay. All right. So all I want you to do, again, is press pause and solve these two problems. We'll go over it. That is the end of today's video tutorial on customary units of length. In class, we'll go over those five problems. You see them? There's five. Um, and then we'll also discuss how to use a ruler correctly. A ruler correctly. All right. Nine minutes long video tutorial. Not too bad. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.